Okay, question three. A small projectile is fired from point zero, point o, with an initial velocity of u, 500 meters per second, at an angle of 60 degrees. Neglect atmospheric resistance, and um, consider the particle after 30 seconds from its initial point. Find the uh, radius of curvature of the particle on its trajectory after 30 seconds. Okay, so starting off with um, projectile motion, and we uh, that's in Cartesian rectangular coordinates. We're going to convert to normal tangential. So, looking at the, just to show you what's going to happen, we're going to say arbitrarily at a point 30 seconds into the the flight. Um, it has tangential velocity. It has um, gravity, and its unit vectors are going to be tangentially that way, and normal to the motion that way. And we're going to need to um, find the component of acceleration in the normal direction, so this one. We're going to need to find, um, if we find that, a n, then we know that a n is equal to v squared over rho. So if we know its speed after 30 seconds, then we can calculate the radius of curvature. Okay, so that's how we're going to do it theoretically. Let's have a look at the numbers. So, to find its speed after 30 seconds, you apply the uh, Suvat equations. It's under a constant acceleration, of course. So speed, initially, is 250 in the x, and then 38 in the y. Sorry, that's the speed after 30 seconds, you can see that. Um, so the magnitude, so our two speeds, 250 and 139. The magnitude is the norm of those, vx squared plus vy squared, 285.9 meters per second, and the angle between them is the inverse tangent of one over the other, 29 degrees. So once we have that angle, then we can um, work out which component of gravity is in the normal direction to, to, the, to the direction that it has at that particular point at t equals 30 seconds. And you, we can see, OK, in order to get that component, we need um, cos beta times g. Now, just reminding you that if this is beta angle here, then it's also this one. So it's cos of beta times by g in order to get the normal component here, a n. Okay, so that works out to be 8, and if we know that the normal component of acceleration is 8, we can rearrange this expression to get it with the radius of curvature as a subject, and we can find that the radius of curvature should be 9,526 metres.